Hey there YouTube, welcome to this great video. Today I'm actually uh, going to do this completely candid and completely off the chain. I'm gonna try to give myself about 10 minutes. This is my first park spotlight video or ride spotlight video after I made the offer. I got quite a few submissions. I'll be getting them out over the next few weeks. This first one comes from my community manager Loopty and Loopty has done an amazing job. I'm going to put Loopty's name up there on the screen right now. Like I said, this is going to be a fairly um, a fairly unedited uh, reaction. I have never, ever been in here. The only screenshot I've seen is basically what's in front of you. So we're just coming in from the spawn here. And I do not often use this map texture. And I, I just I love it. It looks so western and, and wonderful. So that's really what I'm expecting here as we make our way into the park is this western theme to this uh, area. Um, I have not read anything else really. Uh, I did read that it was Gold Rock Ridge and I downloaded the file. So now we're about a minute into this so far. Um, it is a little slow getting into the park because it's a very busy day as you can tell. 800 people in the park at this time. I'm gonna try to remember not to talk directly into my mic so I don't pop too much. Here's a first aid stand right on side. Uh, in, in the door there and some food stalls over here and they look great look at that and they're so basic uh, but they they work so well I hope the audio is okay too um, I really have trouble because I, I run all my audio through speakers so it is a little bit difficult not to have it just overwhelm the video speed up a little bit here as we get down to our first attraction here this attraction, uh, this attraction here is called Wildest Wave. Look at this thing. Looks fantastic. Look at it. It blends so perfectly with the scenery. And look behind it. There's a beautiful coaster right up there on the hillside. Very rust colored, very nice. So right here's Wildest Wave. Uh, look at that. The shirts and the staff are colored. Oh. Uh, Loopty knows what I like when it comes to this stuff, I'm telling you. So we're over on Discord. Loopty actually is my uh, community manager, makes most of my maps and gives me things to um, to build from. We're actually working on a park right now called Dueling Adventures where we pass the file back and forth about every roughly 10 days and it is a mega park. Look at that coaster just go over top of you right there. Uh, Just speed up through the line here a little bit even though the music is great waiting the line behind this guy look at this thing I'm so excited to ride this ride look at look at the coaster up here on the hill oh. we're about three minutes in the park here we have uh, a day planned out where we can have about 20 minutes in the park uh, but yeah it's not it's not a ton of time um, really you know to to wait on these rides to be finished, but you figure if the average ride takes between two to five minutes to ride, I mean, that should be fine with walking distance in between. That gives us about three or four rides we can ride, um, unless we speed things up. So it is a game, we're gonna speed things up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on as soon as it comes down from its position and the poor people that would be riding that. <laughs> look at that. Yikes. Okay. As soon as the ride comes to a stop here and it's safe, we're going to go ahead and jump on. I'm getting excited as though it was a real ride. Probably not as bad. My heart would be pounding out of my chest right now. Man, look at that view you get in the park right before you drop. <laughs> All right, that's about enough of that. Of course, we're in Tenja Camp, so it threw us outside the uh, area here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 
zoom up here. We got, yeah, it threw us out of Tension Cam and everything, so lovely. All right. We're just going to do this in flying cam, though. We'll try to stay at Tedget level. Nah, we're going to go back into Tedget cam here. I know this is unedited, so it's a little hard, but uh, we're going to totally go back into Tedget cam. It's it's so much better of a reaction. I have to remember that. Look at these shops, though, over here. Coming up on about five minutes into the video. If you stuck with it so far, thank you so much. Consider subscribing. Uh, I make all kinds of Planet Coaster content, theme park content. You know, eventually I'm going to be adding a few more theme park games to the lineup just to keep content interesting. But yeah, look at this coaster up here. I'm excited for this coaster. I think this might be an exit to a ride. Over here. Look at this. Gold Rush Looper. Yeah, here's the coaster. I'm, I'm going to bet this is the name of the coaster. So we're just... No, this is this ride. Okay, this is one of these rides. I recently did one of these. I'll link this video in uh, the description below because I can't figure out how to do the little eye thing on the right of the screen, which sounds stupid, but it, it almost never works correctly when I do it. So listen to the music on this thing. Oh, man. I'm not going to ride this, obviously, uh, because it would be kind of terrible footage for a video because um, it just goes in a circle. But the off-rides of this are, are great. We're going to zoom back out of here just because we don't want to um, do too much as far as time goes here. Because um, like I said, I wanted to keep these to within 20 minutes and completely candid, so there is, there is no cuts. We're coming up on the six-minute mark. And I want to be making my way to the back of the park here. There's so much to check out and so much to look at. I'm going to get Loopty's permission and see if I can drop this uh, this little miniature park into the description below for you to go check out for yourself. And you can play in. There's the Western Carousel. Look at that. The wanted posters are so awesome. Loopty, you did a freaking good job on this, bud. Really, really did. Look at this. Oh, man. I got, I got to break the... Uh, Emerged a little bit there, come in here. These animal enclosures, look at this. Wow, so much, so much can be said about this. These are such, they, look at this. They're, they're simple objects from the game. Very simple objects. And they work so perfectly to create this very, look at this crooked post. Guys, if you really want to build realistic parks or immersive parks, that don't take you a long time. Loopy will tell you for theirself right in the comments below. Uh, this did not take them that long. It really did. I only waited a couple days after being teased about this in a private chat, and uh, it 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 came about. Um, and Loopy is not my first Park Spotlight submitter. Um, However, the TMTK for the actual first Park Spotlight did not uh, all download properly, and it's a work night for me, and I wanted to get a spotlight up for, for the start of this week because I want to do the, the big one, the uh, my very first uh, actual outside of our little community person to submit has been Theme Park Finn, and Theme Park Finn, I've been a big fan for, for a while, and uh, Theme Park Finn recently did this for Corvus, you know, the big one, Corvus. Corvus, the uh, the Coaster King. Um, I really cannot figure out how to get on this ride. Oh, here, Tornado Twister. You know what, I'm going to take a wild guess. This is it. I'm going to skip a lot of this queue line because we're coming up on the eight minutes mark and I really want to do this coaster justice. But look at the cattle pen uh, stuff going on here. And look at this, total... Immersion in the freaking ride. Guys, do this with your coasters. This is how it's done. This is how it's done, man. Look at the profiles and the sight lines. I'm really going to try to keep my excitement in check because this is a long line. And I want you to really feel for how long this is uh, and how immersive this line is.
Here we are in the station. We're going to jump right on the ride because there's a coaster actually available right here uh, for us to get on. We're going to do it by seat view, and I'm going to shut up so you can enjoy the POV. back into the station so yeah like I said before sorry if I get pops I am I currently have a pop filter on order from Amazon um, of course we got thrown out a Tejan cam there so I don't I don't know that that is everything there is to do and see in the park we're gonna zoom around here because it is 11 minutes in uh, I did see a few things which I think may have actually been the exit over here or that coaster which that coaster was amazing it really was it was amazing that was that was truly awesome um i really enjoyed that yeah so this is the exit over here hard to believe that those two just seem so or is this another coaster this is dust devil this is another coaster oh loopy you got me Yeah, look at it. It's another coaster. I better jump on quick. <laughs> All right, riding another coaster. Here we go, folks. Bonus coaster. And there you go, folks. Of course, uh, back at the front of the park again. Uh, there it was. That was the uh, the Dust Devil. This coaster is pretty cool. This uh, let's look at the stats on this coaster. Um, you know, so I, I do a time check here. 13 minutes. We're getting there. Uh, so the yes, yeah, so the coaster is 65.6 um, seconds long with a 2,251 foot track. Um, the max speed is 67, which is pretty good. The average speed is about 28 miles an hour, an 82 foot drop, and the stats are almost perfect. There's a little bit of fear, but uh, in my opinion, Planko registers fear a little bit too aggressively. There are a lot of people that would enjoy some of the scarier things. So it would turn more to joy and not from fear, but that's a whole separate video, I'm sure. Sagebrush Spinner, this is a chair ride. I try to put one of these in every single park. And let me tell you a real quick story of why, when I was a kid, one of my favorite hometown uh, theme parks, um, they had put in an Italian trapeze, they called it, which was their chair swing ride. And I remember being so 
thrilled as I watched it being built over an entire summer and then coming the next season and being able to ride that ride was just amazing. Now, of course, I'm a little too big to be getting on stuff like that. Um, yeah, here's the entrance for Dust Devil, that sneaky coaster that totally got me. So, I think this is back towards the front of the park, which I didn't show this all the way, but like, here's restrooms and then the food court area. Yeah, we're back at the beginning of the park. So we're gonna fly up here into aerial view just to get a nice overview of the park and so I can talk about the next spotlight. So the next spotlight will be on Friday, I believe, um, if I can, or Saturday. I do have an event to go to on Saturday and I have work Friday, so we'll see how that all plays out. But yeah, these uh, 20 minute, pretty much unedited uh, quick videos where I do these spotlights, I think this is a great idea and here you can get a great overview of the park. Man, it looks so good. Um, so yeah, this this was a cool idea here. I actually did a park recently, which I believe might be smaller than this, that I'm actually gonna do as a spotlight. So you'll be able to catch that probably next week. Um, Cause like I said, Theme Park Finn is, is in between there with a really cool coaster that I cannot wait to show. It's a dueling coaster. It's wonderful. I only saw it, I saw it in Corvus's premiere, which I'm gonna link that video below so you can go check it out for yourself. And then, you know, you can see how my candid 20 minute walkthrough is totally different. Um, and that one will probably actually be more like a 10 minute because it's a single ride. But yeah, if you wanna get in on this uh, park spotlight stuff, spaces are limited, of course. Uh, at this point, it takes you about almost two weeks till your video comes out. But what you get out of this is you get your content, you know, spotlighted. Have me walk through, candidly look at it, check it out, admire it, tell you what tell you what I love and what I hate. One thing I didn't like with this park, and uh, Loopty will hopefully take this as constructive criticism, is there's not enough ground clutter. Um, in my opinion, there's a lot of very bare areas of ground. But to Loopty's credit, this was also done fairly quickly, and it, it was more like a challenge, like to get it done. And it, for it to be tiny. So, and, and Loop D did this in about a night or two, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, if you want to get in on these spotlights, the link is in the description. There's also a link to the video, but all it is is a Google form. You just fill it out. I do ask for your email so I can communicate with you, you know, about how your park is going. Um, if you don't feel comfortable putting your email address, I understand that, but emails are free. You can go make one just for the sake of that if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, I'm never going to share your email. I'm not even going to store it, uh, long-term once, once your submission has been reviewed and it, and it's deleted, I don't have your email anymore. Uh, I can't speak for what Google does, but that's what I do. So thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. I do all kinds of different content. Sometimes I do how to, sometimes I do these walkthrough type videos. It just depends on what's going on. Uh, tune in, uh, for our next video, which is going to be, I believe, a walkthrough of Tiny Land, which is my park. And of course, the walkthrough of Theme Park Finn's video. Uh, Theme Park Finn is next. That'll probably be Friday or Saturday. So thanks so much uh, again, guys. And I really appreciate you being here. And keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times.